I implore you, get in agreement with me. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God Holy in Ghost the earth today. The earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. Holy My name is Andrew Hemstrud. Thank you for joining today. us. If this is your first time here, the make sure to subscribe. If this isn't your Jesus first time here right. and these messages are blessing you, then consider Ghost becoming a partner with us. Luke chapter 3, verse 16. This is John the Baptist. John answered, saying unto them all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. So here's John the Baptist, he's baptizing people in water, and he says, right after me is going to come someone who's more worthy than I am, but that guy that's coming after me, who's Jesus, is going to baptize you into the Holy Ghost. So what was Jesus' ministry? To get you, say to get me, get me. Into, the Holy Ghost. into the Holy Ghost. If Jesus does what he was prophesied to do and, and was supposed to do, you would be in the Holy Ghost, and that doesn't just mean sprinkled with, fully immersed into the Holy Ghost. And we know that the Holy Ghost is a person. He, Jesus, shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and well, the Holy Ghost and and with fire now I present to you that the Holy Ghost is a person but the fire is simply a manifestation of him does that make sense yes. say the fire, the fire is a manifestation, is a manifestation of him and that will do certain things whose fan is in his hand he will thoroughly purge his floor and will gather the wheat into his garner but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire sounds like a lot's gonna happen there with the fire mm -hmm. and the fire being a manifestation of who the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. not Jesus the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. all right say the fire, the fire. is a manifestation of the Holy Ghost. Ghost. You alright with that? Yeah. And it's gonna burn some things up, but it'll set other things on fire and purify other things. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you're not fully immersed into the Holy Ghost, worshiping Him, knowing Him, walking with Him, you won't be fully purified. Can't be. According to this verse of scripture. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7, the manifestation of the Spirit. What do we just read that the manifestation of the spirit was fire the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with another good translation is for good and profit well we know that one of the manifestations of the holy ghost is fire mm -hmm. so i'm gonna say the thermal manifestation of the spirit say the thermal, the thermal manifestation of the spirit is given to every man for good and for profit now if we go to the book of Acts Acts chapter 2 and verse 1 we can see this is where the Holy Ghost came into the earth and began his dispensation as God in the earth today Jesus had already left and the Holy Ghost is making his entrance and when the day of Pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting verse 3 and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire and it sat upon each of them say like as a fire, like as a fire. verse 4 and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost 
and what began. began to speak began to speak so again we have this thermal manifestation of the spirit as a fire and they began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance yes indeed they began to speak in other tongues and I preach on that a lot you know this right but for my purposes tonight they began to speak that means they said things yeah. say things said. things said thermal manifestation and them saying things <laughs> so all of these manifestations these thermal manifestations of the spirit are by the spoken word which is very in line with everything else we know about the Holy Ghost this is incendiary speech when you say things by the Holy Ghost or when you say things that the Holy Ghost has said incendiary say incendiary, incendiary. causing fires well I know for a fact that speaking the words I worship you Holy Ghost is incendiary speech it lights things on fire things that weren't lit on fire before and things that need to be burned out of your life if you will use those words burns up many if not all of the old things and purifies you and enables you to go farther with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today a new manifestation of the Spirit for good and profit in your life healing would be good a new manifestation of the Spirit healing would be good profit financially would also be good yeah. Amen. It's yeah. good in profit mm -hmm. and these things happen speaking as he gives utterance or speaking as he has already spoken the incendiary speech of Holy Ghost worship causes you to enter into a good and profit goodness and profit that you couldn't enter into before number one say number one, number one. it renews your youth your youth is renewed lots of times that means you get to start over and it resets the clock to before things happened before sickness began renews your youth turning back the clock to before sickness began Amen. does that make sense yes. is that good yes. is that profitable yes. Holy Ghost worship fire number two it increases your capacity for wealth worshiping the Holy Ghost listen worshiping the Holy Ghost increases your capacity for wealth your financial capacity Amen. healing is not what you think it is youth renewal is not what you think it is it's a spiritual substance that he the spirit of life has everlasting life is a substance you reap now and can live by now just as you will then mm -hmm. I am a dealer of this substance I obtain it personally I've acquired it personally and I distribute it how by speaking these words thermal manifestation they light fires there is a financial component to this substance is this fun yet mm -hmm. if we're talking about the financial component to everlasting life it's not in the things you possess it's something else 
it's a manifestation of someone else who's the someone the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost manifesting mm -hmm. and how does the Holy Ghost manifest predominantly by words spoken you got to get this how does the Holy Ghost manifest predominantly by words spoken predominantly by you speaking his words and in agreement with his word first Corinthians 12 7 said but the manifestation of the Spirit is given given to every man to profit with all for to one is given by the Spirit the word talking about the manifestations of the Spirit nine gifts of the Spirit for to one is given by the, the Spirit the manifestation what for to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom how is the Holy Ghost manifesting himself number one by the word incendiary speech lighting a fire now understand these are things that I am personally believing for this substance of everlasting life manifested in healing and youth renewal and prosperity so I'm talking about it and Jesus said if two or more on earth would agree as touching anything that they shall ask they shall agree as to what they're asking or what they're saying mm -hmm. and I always like to say this that in Luke 11 2 Jesus said when you pray say mm -hmm. so when you're asking you're saying yeah. Does that makes sense mm -hmm. so if two or more of you I'm one you would be two and we are in agreement saying whatsoever we ask it shall be done for us so what are you believing for I implore you get in agreement with me you know I talk endlessly about getting in agreement with the Holy Ghost and if you get in agreement with him he can help you if you don't get in agreement with him he can't help you it's the same with me if you will get in agreement with the things I'm saying then my faith listen my faith will work for you it'll help you but if you don't my hands are tied Amos chapter 3 3 says can two walk together except they be agreed unless they're saying the same thing that's what agreed means means to say the same thing you're not really walking together with me unless you begin saying the same thing that I'm saying first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God verse 13 which things also we speak so we know the things that the Holy Ghost has spoken and those are the things which also we speak say we speak we speak, we speak means you speak it and I speak it we're in agreement speaking the same thing does this make sense yeah. yes we're in agreement with the Holy Ghost but we're also in agreement with each other two or three saying the same thing it's how we walk with God it's how you walk with me and this ministry and if you are going to walk with me and this ministry I hope you can hear this I need you to say the same thing not by proxy but actually you opening up your mouth and speaking the exact same words that I say have I ever tried to get you to say I worship you Holy Ghost when you do that you join up with me in the places I'm going but I'm also speaking many other things 
which things also we speak we're speakers of the Word of God we're worshipers of the Holy Ghost and speakers of the Word of God incendiary speech thermal manifestations of the Spirit are you here well I never heard anybody say this well you just did would you have a problem saying the same thing I say no. what do you suppose you're gonna get when you say the same thing I say yeah. the same thing yeah. welcome you ready for this first Corinthians chapter 1 verse 10 now I beseech you brethren by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that you all speak the same thing is that in your Bible yes, mm -hmm. it is. I implore you that you speak the same thing if you speak the same thing I can help you and my faith will work for you because I say things and speak things over your life regularly those people who are in this room with me Holy Ghost worshipers are you here but if you're speaking something else it's not going to work for you always a popular message I'm a believer in speaking God's Word I've said that so many times in fact it's probably the the strongest thing I believe in is speaking God's Word God's Word in my mouth brings to pass the thing said he said it first so I say these things for myself and also for you all those who are with me in this room of Holy Ghost worship so let's all be on the same page these are the things I say these are the things you need to say should I just end it here no. <laughs> Psalms chapter 107 20 he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions and one of the destructions would be old age or issues that arise from aging right that's a destruction he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions I say that for you he sent his word and healed you and redeemed you from your destructions Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it and I say that the blessing of the Lord is on you and makes you rich and adds no sorrow with it I say these things I say them for myself I say them for you who are with me in this room Romans chapter 8 verse 28 says all things work together for good for me and I say that all things work together for good for you Psalms 112 verse 3 wealth and riches shall be in my house and I say that wealth and riches shall be in your house and here when it says in my house my house includes all of those people who worship the Holy Ghost as God and speak in agreement with his word Amen. you're in my house wealth and riches be and one I speak regularly for everyone who gives is Luke chapter 6 verse 38 it says give and it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down shaken together running over shall men give into your bosom with the same measure you've met it shall be measured unto you I say these things are you hearing this mm -hmm. what should you be saying if you give say it shall be given to me good measure pressed down shaken together running over do men given to my bosom if you don't say the same thing then I can't help you if you do say the same thing then these things shall surely come to pass if you don't stop say these things out your mouth 
say them for at least a year a year mm -hmm. you're gonna be saying something for the whole year why not get in agreement with me in agreement with the Holy Ghost in agreement with those of us who are in this room of Holy Ghost worship let these words start a fire in you a fire in your finances a fire in your physical body renewing your youth every cell every organ every tissue of your body completely healed completely restored to perfection and completely youth renewed let the blessing of the Lord be on you make you rich and add no sorrow with it thank you Holy Ghost wealth and riches be in this house Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you for these people they've heard this word and they are beginning to speak in line with you and in line with me and we're together touching these things and it shall be says the Spirit Lord that the great days are just ahead of you they're well within your reach do not stop but press forward and see the greatness and glory of the Lord in your life and on your life in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you that your words are changing me are changing my finances and causing me to enter into a greater place with greater wealth greater riches being in my house Jesus the name. Father is in Amen. heaven, Jesus at his right hand, Holy Ghost your God.